हेलो स्टूडेंट वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू हाउ आर यू आई होप यू ऑल आर हैप्पी हेल्दी एंड फाइन एट होम डू यू रिमेंबर वॉट वर वी डिस्कसिंग यस्टर डे आई थिंक वी वर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट हाउ टू कैलकुलेट दामला मैक्स ऑफ द फॉलोइंग मॉलिक्यूल यूजिंग वुडवर्ड एंड द फिशर रूल एंड देर आर सर्टन रूल्स that we have discussed in our previous lecture in addition to that we have solved some of the problem based on it how to solve the problem what are the points should what are the point will be uh, required or needed for solving the problem that we are uh, discuss in our previous lecture so what we are going to discuss today today we are going to take an extra problem number of problem we are going to take today so that you can able to solve those problem any kind of the problem if appear in the exam i hope i you will be able to solve that problem very easily if if you follow the uh, things which i have explained during that hudward and the fisher projection formula now let's begin or let's start with the another example i think that is example number 5 here so let's see what is that compound see here this is the one of the compound which i am drawing over here so this is the compound let's see so the question <coughs> as usual calculate the lambda max of the following compound four mark question appear in the exam so remember so how do you solve it so as we know that our standard our short form that is five word short form that base so b stand for we know that base value e stand for exocyclic a stand for homocyclic system e stand for extended conjugation and yes for the substituent there are the different substituent and if different substituents are there how much to uh, add there or uh, increment that also we have discussed in our previous lectures so now let's see over here what is our first things to do first uh, while solving this is a question uh problem number 5 so while solving while answering it you have to write it, it then identify or recognize what type of the system it is still uh, up till we are discussing as a dyne system so there is no ambiguity there is no any confusion right now we know that look at here observe this structure carefully what do you see here there are carbon carbon double bond single bond and double bond as we know that it is a conjugated system conjugated system is nothing but as a diene system so we can mark it like this it is a diene system right you can circle it or you can mark like this uh, and once you mark it like this then you write one sentence it is a dyne system it is a dyne it is a dyne system right and once it is a dyne system what would be the base value for dyne system yes you know that the base value for dyne system would be base value will be 215 nanometer right that is a base value for dyne system only and one base value for this and now let's see another thing over here 
so <coughs> what is the next one e e stand for exocyclic and now you can label it this will be the a ring this will be the b ring there are two rings so we <coughs> have labeled here one is a a another one is a b and now if you put hand on a ring a what do you see over here the two exo double uh, two uh, egg, uh, two <coughs> uh, bond outside the ring but there is no double bond but if you put the hand on a b what do you observe here there are two double bonds outside the b ring and therefore there are two homo annular uh, sorry two exocyclic double bond two exo exocyclic cyclic double bond two exocyclic double bond and if two exocyclic double bond how much to add you should add the five five into two it becomes as a 10 so you can <coughs> let me show properly over here so here <coughs> two exocyclic double bond so exo cyclic <coughs> double bond double bond and there are two exocyclic double bond 2 into 5 it becomes as a 10 nanometer right and now after that what does h stand for h stand for homo annular system now tell me does this compound has homo annular system yes or does this compound contain homo annular system yes both the and as we know that according to as a definition homo annular system means what if both the carbon carbon double bond present in the same ring and if they are in a conjugation that kind of the system are known as homo annular system and therefore there is a homo annular system is present so you can write it down homo annular system homo annular homo annular system or uh, homo annular system is present and therefore if one if homo annular system is present how much to add you should add 39 nanometer so you can write 39 nanometer now see another e means what extended conjugation now look at here carbon carbon double bond single bond and double bond it is a dying system uh, uh, yeah. although it is a dying system no extra double bond present over there and therefore there is a no question of extended conjugation in this case so no um, extended conjugation present over. now look at the last one last one is a subtutor most of the student get confused while counting the subtutor look at here this is a dying system and whatever the outside they are the ring residue or we can call it as a alkyl subtutor if you consider here <coughs> it is a dying system outside look at this ch2 means there is a one subtutor present here another one here third one and fourth one means there are four subtutor present in this case so <coughs> four subtutor sub t two and four subtutors are there four into five equals 20 right that is a 20 nanometer nanometer and then you can <coughs> write uh, write it down like this lambda max is equal to if you go on adding this 9 and 5 is a 4 and 1 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 that is 8 and here is what is that 2 so 284 nanometer it is a answer for this issue right in this way systematically you will get the out of mark means whatever mark allotted to that uh, question so you will get full mark so understood this now let me take one more example over here so that we can 
let, let us see another example over here. So what is that? Another example, uh, that is example number 6, you can call it. And here, now I am taking another example, which is this one. So again, two rings, one double bond over here, another double bond is here. Now, this is the example number 6. Now, how do you calculate this? How do you calculate lambda max for this? As we know that. And now, let's see uh, what is our first thing to observe or first thing to notice at our first uh, things to recognize first identify whether there is dyne system present or something else look at we are discussing only as a dyne system so remember we know that this is a carbon carbon double bond single bond and double bond so we can mark it like this so it will be a dyne system so while answering it you should write like this it is a dyne system it is a dyne system and once it is a dyne system what should be the base value for dyne system as we know that base value for this base value is equal to 250 uh, 215 nanometer as we know that 215 nanometer as we know that 1 nanometer means 10 days to minus 7 centimeter or 10 days to minus 9 meter so that is a general uh, uh, conversion for this nanometer now what is the next thing look at here e means exocyclic double bond does this compound contain exocyclic double bond how to identify how to recognize that exo then again label these there are the two ring you can call it a ring and b ring if you put a hand on a ring what do you observe look at here this is outside the a ring so there is a double bond means one exo if you put a hand on b ring what do you observe in uh, there is a one outside double bond is there so total becomes as a two exocyclic means therefore there is a exocyclic double bond exocyclic double bond found in this case double bond is 2 into uh, 5 is equal to 10 right 10 nanometer now what is the next thing homo annular system as we know that homo annular system according to the statement or according to that uh, system if both the carbon carbon double bond which are conjugated means they are separated by single bond that type of the system is called as or termed as dyne system and but here the homo annular means what both the double bonds and they are in a conjugation they are present in the same molar same ring that type of the system is known as a homo annular system which we have uh, just now uh, seen in the uh, example number five here look at here so here we have counted we we considered we have considered as a homo annular system because a ring containing as a both the double bond and therefore it is a homo annular system and uh, to uh, what the student should get uh, uh, aware of this look at here the one double bond is present in a ring and another double bond is present in the b ring and therefore there is a no homo annular system so there is a no need to write that homo annular system now look at as a a e means extended conjugation is there extended conjugation present over here no there is no extended conjugation only as a dyne system two double bond they are separated by a single bond and therefore there is no question of 
extra double bond means no extended conjugation present over here now moving toward as a substituent now you are uh, able you are very uh, expert now in counting the substituent right this is the uh, what we can call it as a dying system and outside whatever ring residue are the alkyl substituent it is considered to be as a substituent look at here count here one two three and four once again there are the four substituent so you can write it down like this substituent substituents there is a four into five equals 20 once again and then you can mark it so you write it down like this systematically if you uh, add this you will find for you then 2 3 4 4 and 2 245 nanometer which will be the answer for this so this is uh, another example which give you uh, what we can call it as a uh, more uh, uh, you are now able to solve such kind of the exam now let's see one more example over here so that we will solve this kind of the problem so if you solve more and more for problem you will be very uh, a very well expert while solving this uh, in solving the problem now let me the, the problem number seven here let us see here ch2 double bond c here ch3 then one more ch3 double bond and ch2 that is the simplest this structure is not written in a zigzag way it is a simple so if you uh, convert this into as a zigzag way so you can write it down like this so this one methyl group here another methyl group is here so this is the what we can call it as a condensed structure is shown over here and this one is according to as a zigzag pattern it is written over there so zigzag pattern is the quickest one realistic it saves the time and all the stereochemical aspect is um, clear in a zigzag pattern so that is uh, there now now solve this problem how much is a lambda max you can calculate over here so let's see let's begin what is our first while solving the problem first you recognize you identify whether there is a dying system is present or not look at here carbon carbon double bond single bond and double bond yes it is a dying system and then you can mark it like this it is a dying uh, sorry here is a this one is a dying system right it is a dying system it is a dying system right and if dying system is there what is the base value for this the base value base value should be 215 nanometer as we know that now e means exocyclic double bond as i already told you that exocyclic if there is no ring therefore no question about the exocyclic over here another one look at eh means homo annular system once again there is a no ring therefore no question of homo annular system look at another one e stand for extended conjugation you look at here there is only as a dying system no extra double bond is just seen over here and therefore no question about the uh, extended conjugation also here and now look at here is a substituent and as we know that at the beginning while studying as a we uh, had studied some uh, certain rules of that uh, dying system while calculating the lambda max following uh, in accordance with the woodward and the fisher rule as we know that during that time we already learned so count here how many substituents are there 
look at here one methyl group here another methyl group is here so there are two substituent so you can write it down two substituent substituent present here 2 into 5 it becomes as a 10 and that's it and then you can write it down like this lambda max is equal to 5 2 and 2 225 nanometer that is the answer of this problem understood this one okay let me take one more example so that you can calculate or you can get it uh, more now let me clean this once again now that is a problem number eight i am going to solve over here so let's see the problem number the problem number eight in this case now let's see here the structure is like this then the bonds here in one of the methyl group is shown over here so let me let me uh, let me complete this uh, while solving that problem so how do you solve this problem let's see over here solution now uh, here <coughs> look at identify or observe this carefully does this molecule contain a diene system yes look at there carbon carbon double bond single bond and double bond and therefore there is a diene system carbon carbon double bond single bond and the double bond it is a it is a diene system diene system it is a diene system if diene system is there then how much to uh, what is the base value for diene system as we know that base base value base value for diene system is a 215 nanometer right now find out again label it this is a a ring this will be the b ring right once again e stands for exocyclic double bond uh, is there the uh, does this compound contain exocyclic double bond yes if you put hand here there is no exocyclic but if you put hand on b you can clearly observe there is one double bond outside the ring and therefore there is a one exocyclic double bond one exocyclic double bond and how much to add you add only one is there therefore 5 nanometer now h h stand for homo annular system uh, does this compound contain homo annular system yes it contain homo annular system one homo annular system is there so homo annular system homo annular homo annular system is present and therefore how uh, no there is no homo annular system homo annular system as we know that if both the ring present in the same uh, same ring and there such kind of the situation is not present in this case therefore there is no homo annular system no need to write it then e stand for extended conjugation look at this is a a uh, diene system no extra double bond is present over here and therefore there is a no uh, extended conjugation is there now is a substituent now count the substituent carefully more if you miss one substituent you will be uh, there is a possibility to reduce your mark so you will get less mark so remember even though you if you go if now while counting outside the uh, what we can call it as a diene system you count here if you start from here you will see or you will observe here one ring race you do another one second this will be the third and this will be the fourth look at one two three and four there will be four substituent or you can write substituent over here sub t how many substituents are there 4 into 5 
equals 20 uh, nanometer this one and now you can mark it like this and then you can write as a lambda max and lambda max comes over here 5 5 10 and now is a 32 so I think yes uh, one is there uh, one one 10 I think 240 nanometer that will be the answer of this question so in this way we can solve the problem based on this uh, uh, Woodward and the Fisher rule now let us see one more example over here so that can be the what we can call it as a, it will be the uh, better to you you can understand now let us see the problem number nine so i am showing over here that is one double bond here double bond and here cs3 and here also as a cs3 now this is a structure is shown over here then now how do you solve this now once again we know that first point first identify is there dime system present or not if you observe this carefully you will clearly see this carbon carbon double bond they are in the conjugation and there is a therefore it has dime system so you can write it here solution it is a dime system dime it is a dime system another if the dying system is there the base value is a fix and which is what base value base value should be 215 nanometer second thing e means exocyclic is there exocyclic is present in this exo double bond is present in the uh, in this structure yes one this is a if you see this is a a ring but outside there is a one double bond and therefore one exocyclic double bond is present one exocyclic double bond how much to add you add as a five nanometer one exocyclic double bond and next one is a homo annular is this compound contain homo annular system yes uh, no there is no homo annular system and as we know that homo annular system means if both the ring both the carbon carbon double bond present in the same ring and if they are in a conjugation then and then we can call it as a homo annular system but in this particular compound there is a no homo annular system no above uh, no need to write it here then extended conjugation or extra double bond look at here extended conjugation means uh, only as a dying system no extra double bond is present over there so here no extended conjugation now is a subtotal now the count the subtotal over here look at here one subtotal second third and fourth once again there will be a four subtotal so you can write it down subtotals 4 into 5 equals 20 once again and if you add this you will get the total lambda max will be here 0 then 2 and 3 and 1 4 so 240 nanometer once again in this previous case also we got as a 240 here also as a 240 nanometer but the structures are different so that are the the problem we have seen over here now let us uh, look at as a next problem so what will be that one so see here that is a problem number uh, 10 over here and which is this one now i am <coughs> showing that problem number over here so another ring over here let's see this is a problem double bond over here another double bond. and one more double bond is here uh, written over here so uh, look at this okay now can you solve this problem most of you may 
get confused here while solving the problem here are uh, let's see is there a dyne system look at here carbon carbon double bond single bond and double bond this single bond once again single bond look at this is a double bond but it is not fallen in the conjugation it is a separated by two uh, single bond and therefore it is not considered uh, in a dyne system so only here is a dyne system is present so you can write it down solution it is a dyne system it is a dyne system once it is a dyne system how much is a base value you can write as a base value base value is a 215 nanometer now another exocyc is there exocyclic you can label it a and b ring if you put hand here no exo absorbed here uh, if you put on b no exo absorbed here so there is a no exocyclic double bond homo annular is this molecule contain homo annular system yes it has homo annular system look at a ring both the double bond present in the same ring and they are in the conjugation and therefore it has a homo annular system so here homo annular annular system and therefore how much to add you should add 39 nanometer next one is a extended conjugation most of the student get confused over here they can add as a, this is a extra double bond but don't count it is a extra double bond even though present but it is not in the conjugation and therefore don't consider as a extended conjugation this is a one of the what we can call it as a problem uh, so you can uh, remember here now let's see last one is a substitute how many substituents are present over there if you start from here one two and three there are three substituents here you can write substituents over here three into five is becomes as a 15 nanometer and then you can write it down lambda max is equal to 5 5 10 and 9 so 9 comes 1 1 2 3 4 5 6 and this 2 remains 2 so 2 uh, 269 nanometer is the right answer over here i think with uh, these are the sum of the enough example we have seen over here remaining we will see in the next time let's stop uh, let's uh, stop here thank you have a nice day